Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I can't believe we're up to video 100. That's amazing. And I'd like to send out a really big thank you to everybody that participated in making 100 videos. All the clients and the staff and everybody did a wonderful job. And now we're gonna have 100 videos. It's amazing. We're going to start this one praying for all those people who participated and everybody that helped to make them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Big thank you to everybody that worked so hard for all 100 videos. And now we move on to a new adventure of online classes. More things to learn, more things to do. Bye. Well, you guys know we can't have a final video without a birthday celebration, even if it's from across the country. Happy birthday, Scotty Michael. We sure do miss you, but we heard you're going to be partying up a storm. Okay guys, I am going to try to get through this one without getting emotional, but it's not going to be easy. 
our last but not least in our superhero series is Rakim Weiss. Inspired and designed by Rakim Weiss, illustrated by me. Um, when Rakim thought of his idea for the superhero art, he asked me to do a caricature or a cartoon of him. Well, I've never done that before. It's not really my thing. But in true Rakim spirit, he said, Miss Might, that you can do anything. Just try. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. And so I did. I tried, and it took a long time, and I watched a lot of videos. But because of him, I did that. And it meant a lot to him, and it meant a lot to me that he trusted me. So his superhero is super special to me because it's really about how he inspires all of us and how the clients inspire all of us. Originally, he was going to have his superhero be super wise, super smart, because his last name is Weiss, so it rhymes with wise. But he thought that was too conceited <laughs> because he's so humble, right? But... So he decided to put SW on his shirt, and that's it. And his mantra is, there's nothing you can't do if you set your mind to it. And if you know Rakim, you know that's very true. We went on a community outreach field trip, and Miss Agnes asked him, Rakim, what do you want to do? What do you want to do in this world? And he said, I just want to inspire people. I want to inspire them that they could do anything they want and really you can't elaborate on that that's just who he is and I think he speaks for a lot of our clients or maybe even all of them so that is our last superhero and I am going to move on to the next slide so I hope you enjoyed this because he really really to the last detail directed this character. And we're not even done with the awesomeness yet, guys. Check out these ADT Waking Success Stories. We call it Quarantine Done Right. celebration of our 100th video, we're going to change things around a bit. Today our lessons will be given by our ADT parents. Welcome to story time with Mrs. Guillerte, Bernie's mom. Hello everyone, congratulations on the 100th 
um, videos of the classes and especially the uh, students and the clients that participated so willingly to do these videos and so enthusiastically and uh, we hope to see you all soon and uh, God bless our family of the Marian Center. I'm going to read to you a book about um, the life of St. Joseph Benedict Cotolengo. This book was um, published a long time ago and uh, it has been in the Marian Center uh, Library for a long time. And um, this book is uh, called Thanks Be to God in, and it's the uh, life of St. Joseph Benedict Cotolengo. And it was written and illustrated by the Marian Center students. And the book is uh, dedicated to all who follow in the footsteps of St. Joseph Benedict Cotolengo, and especially to Sister Lucia, Sister Carla, Sister Paula, and Sister Germana, without whose love and devoted service this project would never have been realized. Um, there is a little city in the Italy called Bra. It is near Turin. A long time ago, a baby named Joseph was born there. His name was Joseph Benedict Cotolengo. His church was called St. Andrea. This is where baby Joseph was baptized. Little Joseph Cotolengo was just like all other little boys. He played and he went to school. Joseph was specially kind to poor people. He gave them things they needed. Each night, Joseph prayed to God and said, Thank you for all the good things that God had given him. When he was nine years old, Joseph Cotolengo made his first Holy Communion. A few years after this, he was confirmed. Joseph wanted to be a priest when he grew up. He had to leave his mother and father to go to the seminary to study to be a priest. Joseph always found time to help people. He often played with the children in the street. When he was 25 years old, he was ordained a priest. He was very happy. Then he went to the big city of Turin to study some more about how to be a better priest. He studied a lot and finally graduated. One day, Father Joseph saw a lady die because the hospitals would not let her in. Father Joseph was so upset that he rang the church bells for everyone to come and pray. They all prayed very hard to Mary, the mother of Jesus. Very soon after this, Father Joseph Cotolengo opened a small hospital for people who were poor. The hospital was called the Red Arch.
Father Joseph was never ashamed to beg for the rich from the rich and give to the poor. But Father Joseph's hospital was too small, so he closed it and opened a new one, the little house of divine providence. Father Joseph asked a group of girls to help him in the hospital. They came and stayed at the hospital and became nuns. When he was only 56 years old, Father Joseph died. Many years later, he was proclaimed a saint because of his many good works. The little house of divine providence is still there, and so are the nuns. They are called the Sister of St. Joseph Cotolengo. Now there are many houses, hospitals, and schools. They all follow the good example of Father Joseph Cotolengo, not simply in Italy, but around the world. In America. In Africa. and in India. Little St. Joseph Cotolengo, we can say, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God, like St. Joseph Cotolengo always said. And thanks be to God for our sister, for the Marian Center family, and for and we praise to him that he will always be with us and guide us through our school years. Bye. Welcome to the game Sky is the Limit with Mr. Gibson, Scotty's dad, and his lovely assistant Diane. Sky's the Limit is a game of great imagination. So open up those beautiful minds. Let's get creative. The following are slides of Mr. Gibson's awesome cloud photography. We will give you a few seconds to see what shapes and images your imagination can find within the clouds. Then his lovely assistant Diane will share some of the images we found in the photographs. Okay, here we go.
Welcome to Garden Art with Rumi. That's my mom. She wanted to do a video for you guys showing you how to do this kind of nature artwork she does, but we ran out of time. So I put this together so you can kind of get the idea. The orchids to the left are her favorite in the garden because of their color. They're beautifully blooming at the trunk of the coconut palm tree. This is my mom, Ruby. She pretty much lives in the garden. Some of you may have met her when she visited the Marion Center last year. My nephew added the quote, which fits her perfectly. My mom is where I get my artistic side. She makes all kinds of arts and crafts from natural elements, like dried up driftwood, dried flowers, palm tree leaves, and even dried up coconuts, especially dried up coconuts. Today, she wanted to share with you some ideas for creating art with the elements you may have right in your backyard. And even if you don't have them right in your backyard, in Miami, we have so many coconut trees, you're likely to find a dried up coconut somewhere. This is the type of coconut tree we have, so sometimes they just fall down after a while because it's a very high climb to get them down. To the right is what they look like when they dry up and they're ready for painting. The little ones already have the shape of a fish, so it makes it easier to visualize. And that's how this idea came about. We were picking them up from the backyard and we saw this little one and it kind of looked like a fish. So we took off with that idea. Here's the supplies you will need. You will need a can of clear acrylic sealer. It doesn't matter what brand. Googly eyes, a hot glue gun, low temperature, medium temperature, whatever you feel safe with, and colored paints of your choice, acrylic preferably. This is Lolita. She was one of our first designs. They all kind of have their own personality. She's kind of a glitter girl, a little bit of glamour with her little beauty mark and her long lashes. She was fun to make. And the fin you see at the top, that was made from the fiber that's right on the coconut tree. Now this little guy is called Bigote, which in Spanish means mustache. We themed him after my favorite uncle, Bigote. Now the fins and the tail, everything was made from, and the mustache, was made from the tree fiber that I told you about before. The little cigar was made from some dried leaves. I just painted it and made a tiny label on it. He was a lot of fun to make too. little one is a ladybug as you probably guessed she has a hook on her because my mom wanted to hang her in between the trees she looks big in the picture but she's actually not she's probably four inches and she looks adorable within all the little palm trees in the house this little dude is Manolito my nephew made this one he is super adorable. He's really tiny. He's maybe two or three inches. All we did was paint him orange and then take a circle sponge and just tap it around the coconut, put some eyes, 
and he has that cute little mouth like he's about to blow a bubble. He's one of my favorites. Now this beauty that you see to the left was actually created by our Marion Center clients. The clients in my art class love this idea so much, we actually created a coral reef made from a tree trunk Sister Carla wanted to use for art. We painted the trunk pink and a bunch of painted little coconuts to make it look like a coral reef. We were the finalists in one of the contests at Studio 18 in the Pines. This art piece is about four feet tall. It is on display in our art room, if you ever come visit. Anthony Castellon designed this little beauty in honor of Sister Carla. She's carrying a bag of blessings, little glitter sprinkles. Okay guys, well, now it's your turn. See if you could find a little coconut. See what you can make out of it. Maybe you don't want to make a fish. Maybe you can think of something else. And even though this is our last video, you can still send me the pictures. I would love to see them. Thanks for watching. And just when you think it can't get any better, <laughs> this happens. Not only did parents make wonderful lessons, but even family members got involved. We proudly introduced the Ponce girls, Gabriella and her niece, Anna. The first part of the audio was a little damaged, but it did not affect the awesome performance Anna is saying, hello guys, Gabriella and I are going to do a special cheerleading dance for you. Listen up, it's not so tough, I'll tell you how it's done. There's really nothing better than to hear your number one. And I know how to get a crowd right up in on their feet. So if you want them Can't climb, nothing keeps us down Got that fire
Okay, guys, let's just hold everything for a minute here. Did you guys see that kick? Did you see that? Did you hear that song? The lyrics to the song, We Can Do Anything? It's like they wrote it for us. We're going to have to adopt that song for our ADT cheerleading squad. We're going to need to see that kick one more time. Just an instant replay, real quick, because that was just awesome. I think we just found ourselves a captain for our ADT cheerleading squad. You guys blew it out of the ballpark. Congratulations, Gabby and Anna. Thank you. Love you guys. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone is safe. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you that participated in doing all these videos the parents, the clients, the staff. And for me, even though it was a bad situation, this pandemic, it allowed me to learn so much more that I ever thought I could learn. So I am grateful for that. Okay. I hope to see most of you soon. Okay. And I love you and Take care. God bless you. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Great. I'm glad everybody's doing fine. Well, guys, this is it. We have reached the 100th video from the staff and clients of the Marion Center ADT. To start with my experience doing these videos, well, like yoga and art, and craft and learning skills activities, acting, Bible classes, Zumba, singing, Spanish class, uh, communication skills, all that was so amazingly beautiful. And knowing the passion to do this for the clients, it just filled my heart with joy. And seeing everyone doing the best to make it happen. So today, I stand strongly, proud to be part of the Marion Center family. And as we move on to a new journey, we ask that you keep us in your prayers so we can continue to teach and serve the clients and supervisors. And to all the sisters who daily gives us love, commitment, and comfort. So as I leave you with this, a beautiful little short poem that says, your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. And a special guest wants to say hello. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? God bless y'all for everything you're doing. God bless the Marion Center and all the staff and clients. Be good. I got to go to work. Love you. <laughs> okay. So, again, this was an amazing experience. And more to come. More to come. But I am willing. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make our family 
happy, comfortable, and moving and pressing on. All right, guys. We've done it. We can do it again with our new journey, whatever that may be. But we're all ready. Right, guys? I love you. God bless you. And let's move on. Talk about a milestone. We can't measure or perhaps even grasp right now all the love and healing that went into these videos. Most of us went into this project scared, not knowing what to expect, and quite honestly, just hoping we'd survive this pandemic. Yet in true Marion Center spirit, we didn't just survive, we thrived. Clients, parents, and family, Marion Center staff, we adapted and overcame. We didn't survive, we flourished. We learned, we grew stronger, we faced this crisis head on. I clearly remember in one of our first videos on another 100th anniversary, Sister Lydia said something that would really define the message perhaps Sister Lucia was sending us. A message of strength, love, commitment, faith, and inspiration. The message that brought us to this day and the challenges of the days to come. We are here to celebrate Sister Lucia Bordet. If she would be here, she will be 100 years old and she will be so happy to be alive, full of energy, full of strength, telling us to go on, to become, to face what we are facing now in this time. Thank you to each and everyone who contributed to the videos, who encouraged us, who donated, who volunteered. Thank you to those who perhaps said a silent prayer that we didn't even know about. Thank you for being part of our Marion Center family. Thanks be to God.
Hello everyone. Today we are celebrating our 100th video a year with Miss Deborah. So let's celebrate. Come on guys. 100th video.
guys. So today we are doing our 100 videos. And we start with Daisy, Gary, Paul, Samantha, and Steve. Okay guys, so we're going to say our one, Gary, zero, zero, Bye. 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 Hi, Marion Center family and friends. This is our last video of the year, 100 video. We, we have some special people in our life that we want to thank. We want to thank our director, Miss Barbara, for helping us throughout this, these videos, for supporting us, for working along with us. And we also want to thank the sisters of St. Joseph Catalango for uh, being here with us, for providing this beautiful place, the Marion Center, that you guys, the clients, can come and learn, train, and do different activities. We want to thank all the staff of the Marion Center for doing a good job out there with all these videos. And now this is the last song that we're going to do is Foot Loose. We're going to, sh we're going to shake our foot off, guys. Did it with this event. <laughs>
making these wonderful video work. Okay, guys, say 100. 100. Miss Marte, we thank you so much for all of the video, the beautiful video you did for us. We, we 